have you all seen the crazy downfall of New York Mayor Eric Adams? And what's very strange, what's even more disturbing is that this downfall happened directly after he became a high-level Freemason. Usually, I'll censor myself and not say the word Freemasons because if you do, YouTube likes to give you the blue bar of context right below your video. So I usually say the Free People Society, but the word Freemason, Freemasonry, will be very important to this video. So if you look below this video, I'm very sure you're going to see that blue bar. Going back to New York Mayor Eric Adams, they have him out here looking so bad that he's even giving speeches about how there's a society full of demons. And not just Eric Adams, but also New York Police Commissioner Edward Caban will also play a role in this video. There is only two things that I can think of that's happening here. Either one, this is a high level humiliation ritual, or two, he did something against the Brotherhood and they did not like it and so now they are retaliating. One year ago, I made a video about how news and media oddly let us know that Eric Adams and City Police Commissioner Edward Caban were inducted as Master Masons in a secret ceremony at Gracie Mansion. This ceremony was left off the public schedule, so the public did not know until news and media let us know. Just think about that for a second. How many politicians, high-level politicians, celebrities, so forth, people in power, are in the Brotherhood in different orders, but are still in the Brotherhood? And how many times do they let us know that these people go through these secret ceremonies and become high-level Masons? Practically never. The Prince Hall Masonic Temple is the Black Freemasonry. The Order of the Eastern Star is the female Freemasonry. But they are still within the Brotherhood, just in different orders. When you are a city official, whether you are a mayor, a governor, even a president, you should be working for the people. But when you become a part of the Brotherhood and you take your secret oaths, no matter what order you are in, your allegiance is to the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood comes first. Everything else comes second. So how does that look as a public official? When you or I talk about these politicians being in the Brotherhood and secret societies, it's always a crazy conspiracy theory. It always needs to be fact-checked. Yet, news and media can run articles about how there's a mayor and a New York police commissioner in the Brotherhood, and nobody blinks an eye. He's going through a high-level ceremony, they both are, and nobody blinks an eye. Nobody says, well, I thought this was just a crazy conspiracy theory. No. No, because we said so. We're the media. So you should believe us automatically. The article even says Police Commissioner Edward Caban was also inducted into the organization. Known for its secret handshakes and symbols, admission to become a Mason is quite simple. One must be at least 18 years old and believe in a supreme being, though not any religious denomination. It does not matter what your religious denomination is, as long as you believe in a supreme being, because once you hit those magical numbers, 30, 31, 32, especially 33, that supreme being that you believe in no longer matters. They are now going to show you that Lucifer, the light bearer, is the one true God. You will now be on your way to study the teachings of Albert Pike. Regurgitating a scripture or the Quran or a religious text is not believing. It is reading. And when you have gone through what I have gone through, you have to say to yourselves, there is no way that the creator has taken me this far to leave me. It's just not possible. <laughs> the, creator had, the creator has so many times to leave me, so many times to abandon me, uh, but she has not. <laughs> but like I said, this story happened one year ago, and ever since then, it's been nothing but bad news for Eric Adams. We even had articles coming out one month after articles were coming out that he was a master mason performing in ceremonies, like this article here from the Daily Beast that was published on November 7th, 2023, which is titled, Is Eric Adams Doomed? Scandal is nothing new to New York City's mayor, 
but the FBI investigation of his chief fundraiser makes him more vulnerable to a Democratic primary challenge. Even though he might not be a stranger to scandals, you're going to see that the FBI are now getting heavily involved into Mayor Adams and people surrounding Mayor Adams, but we will get back to that later. Going back to what I said, news and media will never let the cat out of the bag. They will never tell the public that a politician, somebody in power that works for the public, is a mason partaking in these secret ceremonies because it's not a good look. This is supposed to be a conspiracy theory. We're not talking about masons that drive around town with the bumper stickers that say, I'm a mason. So why is news and media all of a sudden running a story they never ran before? How a mayor and a New York police commissioner were inducted as master masons during these secret ceremonies. Well, for that answer, we only have to go a few days before these news articles were released. This news story came out only five days before news and media started to let us know that Eric Adams was a master mason. The relationship between the mayor and president has gone from favorable to fragile. The mayor has been critical of the White House, saying it's been irresponsible in addressing the city's migrant crisis, and it shows a lack of leadership. New York don't, don't deserve this. The asylum seekers don't deserve this. And so while he's here, um, I think that they should really reflect on... New York City has done its part. One consistent criticism is the mayor blaming the president for not signing a special order to grant migrants work permits, which he says would ease the financial burden on the city. That's something the Biden administration can do with a stroke of a pen rather than waiting on Congress. Democratic strategist Josh Flashstow says Adams' public criticism of the president is rubbing the administration the wrong way, but his requests for help are reasonable. We are the largest city in this country. We are the economic engine, not of the country, but also of the world. And when the mayor asks for something, uh, he should be given it. More than 110,000 migrants have come to the city since last spring, with an average of 10,000 still arriving every month. This issue will destroy New York City. The city has spent $2 billion so far caring for the migrants and a projected $12 billion by 2025 with no federal funding. You know, this is a crisis that is, in, that is engulfing the entire country, whether it's border states or states where migrants are starting to flock to. And so it is the federal government's responsibility to give the local governments whatever resources now, I'm not saying that Eric Adams is anti-immigration or has fought against illegal immigration. That is farthest from the truth. He has signed many policies to make illegal immigration easier for New York. September 20th, 2023, the same exact day where Eric Adams is giving the speech about how Biden is not properly handling the immigration to New York, the Biden administration expands temporary protected status to Venezuela allowing roughly 60,000 newly arrived Venezuelans in New York to apply for work permits. Well, Eric Adams wanted this, but I guess the situation just gotten out of control. He starts to badmouth Biden, and then five days later, news and media lets us know that Eric Adams is a master mason. Not just a free mason, but a master mason. Ever since then, it has been nothing but bad news for Eric Adams, not just Eric Adams, but people also connected to Eric Adams, like New York Police Commissioner Edward Caban. No matter how bad things get, this is what the Brotherhood wants. This is what the Brotherhood wants for New York. This is what they want for the United States. You do not speak out against another member in the Brotherhood like Biden, because now you're breaking code, and now they will break you. So what comes out only one month later after news and media lets us know that Eric Adams is a master mason? Well, the old song and dance. A woman accuses Eric Adams back in 1993 of assault. Very interesting timing. The mayor denied knowing his accuser who filed the lawsuit under the Adult Survivors Act on November 22nd. Now listen to this. In addition to Adams, who worked for the New York City Police Department at the time, the lawsuit also names the Transit Bureau of the NYPD, the Guardian Association of the NYPD, and three other unnamed entities as defendants. The plaintiff filing the legal claim against Adams is seeking at least $5 million in damages. 
and attorney for the plaintiff did not immediately respond to a request for comments. Now they also have the NYPD involved. And remember, Commissioner Edward Caban was also mentioned in the article becoming a master mason. This article continues to say the allegation comes roughly a month after a book by Melissa DeRosa, former top aide to ex-governor Edward Cuomo, implied that State Attorney General Letitia James may have known about issues that Adams has had with women. Ah, well, that sucks. You shouldn't have joined the Brotherhood in the first place. But I guess if you did not join the Brotherhood, you would not have become the mayor that you want to be. But once you take those oaths, you take those oaths for life. Now, on top of this, because the Masons are not done with Eric Adams, he has been facing investigation after investigation after investigation. Not only Eric Adams, but also the New York Police Commissioner, Edward Caban, and other officials connected to Eric Adams had their homes raided by the FBI. Reading this article from the BBC, which was published on September 5th, 2024, the title reads, New York Police Commissioner and other officials' homes raided. Federal authorities have raided the home of New York Police Department Commissioner Edward Caban, among other city officials. The department is aware of an investigation by the United States Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York involving members of the service, the NYPD said in a statement to BBC News. Other top New York officials appointed by Mayor Eric Adams, who also has faced a corruption probe, saw their homes raided early Wednesday, including First Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright and Deputy Mayor for Public Safety Phillips Banks III. The United States Attorney's Office and the FBI, which reportedly participated in some of the raids, declined to comment. As of Thursday evening, no official reason has been given for the raids, but I think I know what caused the raids. Last year in November, November of 2023, now remember, this is all taking place directly after those articles were released in September of 2023. But in November of 2023, the FBI raided the home of Mr. Adams' chief fundraiser, Brianna Suggs, last year as part of a probe believed to be focused on whether the Adams campaign received illegal campaign contributions from the Turkish government and other foreign sources. Not just Brianna Suggs, but other city officials and advisors saw their home searched at the time as part of that probe, and Mr. Adams himself was subpoenaed. Now remember, this is all taking place a month and a half after those articles. Now, almost one year later, after Brianna Suggs and other city officials connected to Eric Adams had their homes raided, those who are connected to Eric Adams are still having their homes raided. There are now even calls to have the NYPD Commissioner Ever Caban to resign in wake of the federal raids. It will be rather interesting to see if he resigns or not, or he's put in another position of power, because this will either prove that this is a giant humiliation ritual, or someone somewhere broke some oaths. There are even articles coming out where it states all the times the feds have raided members of Eric Adams' administration that we know of, early morning visits from the FBI are becoming a somewhat regular occurrence. And this article even states that the first raid started on November 2nd, 2023. There are articles coming out stating that NYPD commissioner expected to step down amid federal probe. So it does look like Edward Caban is indeed stepping down. But who knows? Who knows what's really going on behind the scenes? These people could be retiring with a hefty package after destroying New York City. Dozens of phones are being seized and so forth, and articles are still coming out. Even the most recent articles as of yesterday are saying it's unclear why these raids are happening, but they're happening. Now, on top of everything else, news articles are coming out letting us know that Mayor Adams has tested positive for the C-19. Like I had also said in the beginning of this video, we also have Eric Adams talking about demons. This article was published on February 29th, 2024. New York City Mayor Eric Adams implied that people can be successful in life only if they have faith while warning about demonic energy engulfing the world during a January 31st interfaith prayer breakfast. Adams went to assert there is a demonic energy that has engulfed our globe, and we are ashamed to talk about it. We're seeing it in front of us, 
and we say if we mention it, people are going to say, well, why are you talking about these spiritual things? It is these spiritual things that got us here. It's going to be the spiritual things that's also going to sustain us while we're here. Phones being seized, these raids, investigations, and corruption probes are all happening ahead of Mayor Adams' re-election bid. Let us also not forget the assault lawsuit that's taking place the exact same time. So this is either a humiliation ritual and he's allowed to retire with a big package or he broke some oath somewhere and now he's paying the price. But either way, it's a very interesting look as to what came out after the September articles. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.